let's learn how to save a JPEG for web from Illustrator in this super simple tutorial. Here I have a very simple piece of artwork that I'd like to export as a JPEG for web. It's 1270 by 720 in dimension, RGB 72 DPI. So when I'm ready to save it, come to File, Export, Save for Web Legacy, or on the older versions, the Save for Web option will be under the Save Options. Once you press Save for Web, the Save for Web panel will appear. The first thing you can do is select the Two Up option. This will show you your original artwork here, and then show you the optimized version that you're going to save. And the great thing is as well, this will show you the file size of the original and how much you are compressing this down to. So your goal for saving for web should be reducing the file size as much as possible without compromising the legibility or the artistic validity of your image. There are a number of presets you can use. If you come here, you can see you've got the option of GIF, JPEG, or PNG. However, the options are simple enough that we can kind of play around with these settings and get it the way we want. So first make sure you've got JPEG selected, then decide on the quality of the JPEG, either by using the preset here, or you can use the quality slider here and slowly increase or decrease the file size, and you can see what the image will look like with the file size here. There are some options in this panel that are kind of redundant. For example, the progressive load, where the image will load bit by bit, or the browser dither option. These were far more applicable several years back when the web was a lot slower, but now updates, because speeds are so high, there's certain options you just don't need to worry about. You can definitely use the optimized option here, to further optimize the image. As you can see, when I turn this on, it does decrease the file size even more. And if you are precious about the colors used, for example, if you're working with a particular brand that has a certain set of colors, it's worth selecting the ICC profile option because that will try to keep your colors as close to the original as possible without the JPEG looking dull. However, you have to remember we are optimizing this image. So the further you optimize it, the less colors that are going to be available to the JPEG. Ignore the blur option here, you don't really need to use this. However, one thing to be mindful of is if you have any transparency on the image, JPEG is automatically going to fill any transparent areas with a set color, which you can select here. The default will be white, but you can set this to black or even set your own color accordingly. If you want to keep any transparency on this exported file, you need to switch to the PNG options. JPEG will not allow you to save any transparency. It will simply fill any transparent areas with a set color. You can see your file size here, and you can change the dimensions accordingly or keep to the originals. And to further optimize the image as smoothly as possible, depending on whether you've got more art or type on the image, you can select the art optimized or type optimized options. Always make sure your clip to artboard option is selected. That way you will have the correct artboard dimensions for your image and it won't create a bounding box around the artwork when it exports. Finally then, if you want to preview the image to see what it looks like on the web, you can also press the preview button here. Once you're happy with all your settings, simply click save. Select where you'd like to save the image. So I'm gonna save this to my images folder. Set your file name and simply click save. So to better show the capabilities of the save for web feature, I've saved two versions of this JPEG. One was from the export as JPEG option, and then the other then is the save for web JPEG option. So if I show here the export as, both of these versions are 72 DPI, 1280 by 720, and on both I saved at maximum quality JPEG. So here you can see the file size of 251 kilobytes, and then if I come to the Save for Web option, the file is now smaller at 219 kilobytes. So that's a 12 to 15% reduction in the file size. Now when we're working with vectors, this doesn't seem considerable, but it still goes a long way to decreasing load time on a web page, particularly if you're using multiple images. And if you were to do this in Photoshop with high resolution images, you would see even more considerable reductions in file size. So this is why Safer Web is so important, because it compresses and optimizes the files as much as possible to make the viewing experience online as seamless and quick as possible without compromising too much of the quality. And there you go. It's that simple to save a JPEG for web from Illustrator using the Save for Web Legacy option or the Save for Web option on older versions of Illustrator. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing, and I will see you for the next tutorial.